Today we're going to learn how writers explode moments in their narrative writing. Let's take a look at this photograph. This photograph was captured from a slow motion video of a strawberry exploding. And what I love about this photograph is that we can see tons of details because the video was shot in slow motion that we would have missed if the video was taken in real time. As writers, we can create the same experience for our readers. The technique we're going to use is called exploding a moment. So when I ask you to explode a moment, what I want you to do is to imagine the moment in slow motion and then to describe every detail. One of my favorite quotes about writing is from E.L. Doctorow. He said that good writing is supposed to create a sensation in the reader, not the fact that it is raining, but the feeling of being rained upon. It is your job as a narrative writer to create an experience for your reader. If you're writing about a rainstorm, your reader needs to feel the rain. It's your job to make sure that your reader feels like they are present in the moment with the narrator. So let's look at an example of an unexploded moment. This is a moment that the reader really can't picture. I poured milk on my sister's head. So what would happen if we imagined this moment happening in slow motion and we really, really, really described every detail? So um, I actually stole this text from an author, um, Barry Lane, um, and this is what he envisioned um, this moment to be. So what he did was he imagined this moment. I poured milk on my sister's head. He imagined it happening in slow motion, and then he described every detail. I watched myself begin this horrible deed. My hand seemed to suddenly have a will of its own. It picked up the milk carton. The spout was already open. My arm extended over Carol's head, tipping the carton. The liquid poured in slow, steady, thick, unending streams down through her long, blonde hair, soaking the back of her clothes and running onto the floor. As the milk reached the floor, I shifted the spout slightly to begin another long, milky journey down the front of her. It poured over her forehead, in the eyes, running in rivers down each side of her nose, converging on the chin and splashing into her plate. Her food was soon a wash, and the milk poured over the edge and ran into her lap. And still, I poured on. It was too late to stop now. The rapture of it all. Oh, sweet revenge. So I want to pause for just a second. I want you to notice some of the descriptions that Barry Lane uses. Um, and in particular, this line. I want you to notice how much detail he includes in just this one sentence. The liquid poured in a slow, steady, thick, unending streams down through her long, blonde hair, soaking the back of her clothes and running onto the floor. Just the image of the milk being poured out, right, takes him this long descriptive sentence to really create a picture for the reader. Let's keep reading. Carol was shocked into absolute silence her milk-washed eyes staring at me in total disbelief, almost uncomprehending. What had I done? I only meant to pour a little to scare her, and now it was all over, everywhere. Her chair was a four-legged island in the middle of a giant white pond in the kitchen floor. How could one quart of milk go so far? For a second or two, she didn't react. And I had a brief but fleeting prayer that she was stunned speechless. However, not for long. Daddy, she screamed at the top of her lungs. The sound of glasses being knocked over, knocked over the coffee table in the living room and my father charging around the corner happened simultaneously. In an instant, he took in the whole scene. Horrible big sister pours milk over innocent little sister's head. 
I simply couldn't have looked much worse. So here's your job. I have created a list on Schoology of unexploded moments. Right? These are moments that the reader cannot picture. I want you to choose one. I want you to imagine that moment happening in slow motion. And I want you to describe every detail. Your goal is to make the reader feel like they are there, experiencing this moment with the narrator. If you have time, choose another unexploded moment and try it again. Get started.